and welcome back to another Primark haul. If you're new around here, my name is Brogan and I make home lifestyle and travel vlogs, so hit subscribe if you haven't already. Today I'm gonna to show you some spring summer bits, some accessories, some home stuff, you know the drill. I'm gonna show you all the things I picked up in the Bournemouth Primark a few days ago. So here's my bag, nice and full. I actually received some gift vouchers for my birthday from Benji's dad. He gave me some Primark vouchers, which was such a great gift because I really took the time to go around the store, take everything in. I actually went in the changing rooms twice. I wasn't super successful with some of the clothes. I do think that they are starting to bring some more and more things in and a lot of the good stuff already was out of my size. But I did find some really nice pieces that I really wanted to show you. I have two trips coming up abroad, one in May and one in June. I'm going to Antigua and I'm going on a med cruise. So with that in mind, I wanted a few new things. And I had a little list of all the boring essentials like socks and well, you'll see, I'll show you all. First item I got was a plain black skater style dress. It is super comfortable, literally just a plain black dress with a V-neck and buttons all the way down the top. I tried it on in a few sizes and ended up settling on the 20. I'm typically an 18 in Primark, but I do go up and down that. So sometimes I buy 16, sometimes I buy 20, you'll see. Um, but this was 16 pounds. This is the kind of dress I'll chuck on in the mornings when I'm working from home or I don't know what to wear and it's a very brogan style shaped dress so i thought that would be good to have in my collection next thing i bought was this green skirt it is a full length skirt with an elasticated waist so i got this in a large which is a 14 to 16 and it was eight pounds and i love this color on me this olive green is definitely my color you'll see this through my wardrobe a lot. I do not own a skirt like this. I've got quite a few pleated midi skirts, but I don't have a maxi skirt. I thought this could be really good as a travel outfit to wear on the plane. But also again, when I'm working from home, I don't know what to put on. This is loose, cool and comfortable. And for only eight pound, I just thought, yeah, that'd be amazing to have in my wardrobe, something I don't already own. So. I picked that up. When I was trying on the skirt, I also tried it on with this. Now this is quite rogue for me. It's not something I have in my wardrobe either. I got a little black crochet bralette. I picked this up in a large, this was nine pounds. And again, I tried this on in a few sizes, but this fit me the best. I will say that I have one boob bigger than the other, and I do think it's very noticeable in this, but that doesn't matter. I really just liked how it looked. It's not, like I said, something I'd normally wear, but I think with the right um, high-waisted skirt or trousers, actually with that green skirt, it looked really nice. I thought this would be really lovely. It's a really lovely material. The straps do not adjust, so it was a case of just like hoping for the best, but it's kind of like a little crop top. I love it, it looks nice. Next, I got some plain black shorts with a little bow on the front. I don't know if you can see. The little bow, elasticated waist. I got these in a size 20, they were six pound. And as you can see, they're just really thin, nice floaty shorts, absolutely perfect for a summer holiday to put on on top of a bikini at the beach or if I'm doing any activities. I sized up just because this was the size that felt the nicest again, but it does have a nice elasticated waist and the length is good on them too. So I was very happy with those shorts. They were a good find, I know I'm gonna get a lot of wear out those. I realise everything I've shown you is either black or green, but <laughs> the next thing I got was this swimming costume. I got this in an 18 and it was £12 and it's this nice like ribbed material and I absolutely love this when I tried it on. I will admit I have had some hit and miss Primark swimwear choices over the last few years and they had some really lovely prints but they were all sold out in a 16, 18 or 20. So I got this one and I thought it was so lovely on. It has a nice V but it's not too plungy, you know. It's just a basic swimming costume really but the colour we got to appreciate this green on me with my sort of reddish hair, especially in the summer. I will take this on my holidays and hopefully you'll see this on in a vlog or on Instagram, but this is one for my collection. I picked up a pair of pajamas and I'm not 100% sure how I feel about these, but I picked them up and I thought I'd try them on again at home because I couldn't really tell how I felt about them in the changing rooms, but they are part of their bride collection. These are silky white pajamas. So you've got the shorts and the top and they were £15 for the set. Got it in an extra large. 
I loved the top. It's got bride written on the pocket. If it's not obvious, <laughs> I am a bride to be. I figured that this was quite a good price for a silky set of pajamas. So I tried them on. The top was good and the shorts are really nice. Like they've got this really cute little um, detailing on the bottom. I don't know if you can see the like frilly bit. It's so pretty, but they're quite thin and see-through. Um, <laughs> they could be really perfect for getting ready in actually as well. I think it's a case of I'm gonna try them on again at home, but I absolutely love a lot of Primark's bridal collection. They have so many cute bits in. They have really nice slippers. They have matching robes to this as well. I did try on the robe, but with all the silk, it just wasn't staying tight up. So I skipped on the robe. But if you were looking for a silk bride robe, or they have team bride in like a nice brown color. If you were having a hen do and you wanted matching PJs for everyone, they've got a really nice collection right now. And yeah, I thought that I'd pick these up considering there is only one time in my life I'm able to do this. So these are boring, but I needed some more socks. So I got the Blister Resist Trainer Socks. These are great for running, working out, and the gym, four pound for a pack of three. And the Blister um, Resist is basically the fact that it has two layers. I love them. I used to spend so much money on socks like this from proper gym shops, but Primark sell them and they are great. And then I just got some normal cushion sole trainer socks as well for my normal trainers. These were three pound for a pack of three. Love, love, love. Nipple covers. <laughs> These were £2.50. I have a dress that does not need a bra. I don't want to wear a bra with it and it's a nude colour and I just think I'm going to want these. So I'm actually going to hook these on the hook where the dress is and remind myself that when I go to pack it and wear it for an event or a cruise or whatever, I need the nipple covers. So I actually have never used these before, um, but we will see. I got another little bikini bag. This was £1.50 and I love these. It literally says bikini bag on it. I don't know if you can see that. It's sort of embossed in. These are so handy for wet swimwear, but they're also really great for toiletries and um, taking your accessories to the beach or the pool. They fit a phone in, headphones, you know, that kind of thing. So I got another one because the one I have is about three or four years old from Primark. It's looking a little ropey and I use it at the gym all the time. When I come out from a swim, I put my cosy in one of these. So got one of those. I'll be honest, I've got a little obsession with toiletry bags, travel bags, wash bags, pouches. But I saw these and look, I love a clear pouch because they're so good when you're traveling to be able to see what you've actually got. This one was six pound, the larger one. I can envision this as a tech bag for like tech accessories or for my hair tools, for like hair brushes and products uh, or just like toiletries, whatever. But it's got a nice thick zip. It's actually quite satisfying zipping it up. And I, was, I picked this up, walked around the shop with it. And then in a different section, I saw this one, which is obviously a smaller version. And this one was five pounds. Again, it's the same material and big zip, um, but this could be perfect for loads of other things as well. Again, like brushes or makeup brushes and makeup, or whatever, I'll find uses for them. I just know that I'm going to love using them. Speaking of travel, I got five travel jars. These are to store your creams, lotions, gels, and serums when you travel, one pound 50 for the pack of five in all different sizes. I have quite a few hair products, um, like the gel I scrunch in for my curly hair is in a massive pot. I know I'm gonna wanna decant it, so these are gonna be perfect, so I'll pick those up. I got another one of these foldable plastic £1.50 uh, little pots. These are so great. They fold down flat like you saw, but then they clip in and I have a pink one in my office and they're so handy for storing things. So I've got loads of beauty and toiletry bits all in a spare room. They're so great. So yeah, a little plastic crate, but I got another one because I love my other one. I'm not sure what's worse, my obsession with makeup and toiletry bags, my collection of pins or my tote bags. I saw this and it was one of those impulse purchases at the till, but it's a Mickey and Minnie Disney four pound little tote bag. Actually, it's not little, it's quite a good size. It's like a, um, a nice big plain tote bag. Did I need it? No, I absolutely did not. But come on, look at the design. Mickey and Minnie all over it. 
and it's quite a nice like beach bag start size actually and that's everything i picked up in primark a nice quick haul for you i hope you enjoyed watching this let me know if you've been to primark recently and any good finds as you know i like popping in there fairly regularly but this was to spend my birthday vouchers so big thank you to benji's dad for uh, my lovely new things i'm very happy and let me know if you'd like more vlogs like this and i'll see you again very soon thanks for watching bye